Now let's see exclusior. Exclusior is also called as modulo two sum. Modulo two sum means if I add, if I add, is represented like this. If I add two numbers and divide it with uh, two, the remainder what I get is modulo two sum. So exclusior acts as modulo two sum. For example, if I have zero zero, it is zero. Zero one. What is zero plus one? Sum is one. And you divide with two and take the remainder. If I divide with two and take the remainder, it is going to be one. And one zero is one plus zero is one. And if I divide with two and take the remainder, it is going to be one. And one plus one is two. Divide with two, the remainder is zero. Right? That is how it acts. It actually acts like modulo two sum. Right? And how to represent it is? You can check this. So there are two min terms here. I mean there are two ones. So for these two ones, you can take these two min terms. So what are the two min terms? A prime b for this one, a prime b plus for this one, a b prime. Got it? So if I write like this, it is nothing but the representation of exclusior, right? And now uh, it can even be extended like this. See, if it is if it is really modular two sum, you could even write it like this, right? One exclusior, one exclusior, one. Then what is it? Add these three, divide with two, and take the remainder. What is three? Three one plus one plus one is three. Divide with two and take the remainder. Remainder is going to be one. Now if I write like this, one x to the power zero x to the power one. Then what is it? One plus one is two, and two when divided by zero, two is zero, right? So that is how it works. Now let us see whether the item item potency rule followed it or not, and other rules are followed or not. One is item potency. Let us check whether it is item potent or not, which means a exclusive or a. So is this result is this result going to the a? That is what I wanted to know. If I write a exclusive or a using this formula, what does a exclusive or a represent? A followed by a complement or a complement followed by a. Then what is this? So this is zero. This is zero, which is zero. Or if you check it, zero and you know zero when added with zero, the result is zero. And when you divide with two, the result is the remainder is zero. And one when it is added with one, one when you add it with one, the result is one. So the result is two. And when you divide with two, the remainder is going to be zero. So anyway, uh, always you have you know you are getting zero. Therefore, what can you say about it? It is not item potent, right? But then you can test it this way also. A exclusive or A exclusive or A. So this is going to be A actually, right? But it doesn't doesn't say that it is always item potent because for all of them it should it should be valid. But for this one it will be valid. You can check it, right? So now let's see whether it is uh, distributive or not. Sorry. First, let's see whether it is commutative or not. How can we test it? A B should be equal to B A. Is it equal? We don't know. Let's check it. Now, A exclusive or B can be written as A concatenated with A dot B prime plus B dot A prime. Or let me write in terms of A Bs only without confusion. A B A prime B, right? Now, how I could write it is, I could simply exchange them. Then what do I get? Then I get A prime B. Okay. Now let's see the other one. This one. This one can be written as B A plus A B A. Here you can write this one. And you can write this one, right? So which is nothing but B A prime plus B prime A. Now check both of them. See, B A prime is here, yes, and B A prime is here, and A prime B is here, A prime B is here. Both are actually equal. Therefore, it is commutative. Now let's see whether it is associative or not. Associativity. A exclusive or B. Exclusive or C. 
is this equal to a exclusive or b exclusive or c how can i check it again the same rule you can use uh, put a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and uh, sorry put a equal to 0 on both these sides a equal to 1 on both these sides you can check it but the problem with this is if the property is not associative at some point you are going to see that both are not equal but if the property is actually associative maybe you might have to check all the probabilities all the combinations it is like this if you have to prove that a person is bad just find out one mistake that he did and you can prove that he is bad but you have to prove that a person is good you have to he had to you know you can never declare it because in future he might be committing some mistake isn't it similarly if you had to say that this one doesn't hold true you can take one 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 value like a equal to 0 or a equal to 1 that is and if you can prove that both are different you can stop there but if they both turn out to be equal then it is very difficult because you have to verify all the combinations right so just be careful there this method works uh, with lot of care you have to apply lot of care here if a equal to 0 what do i get then it is nothing but 0 here 0 exclusive or b exclusive or c now what is 0 exclusive or b exclusive or c is 0 concatenated with b exclusive or c plus 0 prime concatenated with b exclusive or c this entire thing is going to be 0 this is 1 therefore the result is b exclusive or c this side now let's see the other side let's see other side what happens if i put a equal to 0 on the other side i get 0 exclusive or b exclusive or c right if i put a equal to 0 on the other side i got this isn't it then now we, we had to we had to do exclusive or for these two which means 0 b prime plus 0 prime b exclusive or with c then what is it it is b again exclusive or c check it 0 with this is fine and then 0 again 1 with this is b therefore b exclusive or c both the terms turned out to be same right so i am declaring here that both are equal in the sense even if a equal to 0 both are equal actually you should substitute a equal to 1 and check it but then if you substitute everything you are going to see this right but intuitively intuitively it will like you know you'll you'll get the intuition to understand what to put there and substitute it or if you want to go ahead let's put a equal to 1 and check it we are not going to lose anything hmm? let's see that one if i put a equal to 1 maybe it will prove one more important property also interesting property if a equal to 1 let's see what happens with the lhs left hand side 1 exclusive or b exclusive or c then what is it now take this one a concatenated with b and it with this complement plus one complement is 0 and it with b exclusive or c then what do i get b exclusive or c whole complement right maybe if you would like to write it we shall write it later and now you put a equal to 1 on the other side so if i put a equal to 1 on the other side what do i get 1 exclusive or b exclusive or c then what is this 1 exclusive or b is 1 concatenated with b complement plus 0 concatenated with b and it with uh, 0 right exclusive or c then what did i get I got B complement exclusive or C. See, this is B C whole complement. I mean, exclusive or whole complement. That is B complement exclusive or C. At the surface, they might look like these two are different. But interestingly, these two are actually same. At the surface, you might feel that these two are different. But these two are exactly the same. See this. How are they same is? You can take this one and you can expand it out. B exclusive or C whole complement. So you know maybe it is better you can take the diagram. It is it is simple to prove it this way. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now what is B exclusive or C? It is simply uh, you know 0, 1, 1, 0, right? Then what is 
B exclusive or C whole prime then it is just complement it 1 0 0 1 right then what is B prime exclusive or C so you take the prime of it and then add with this 1 1 and then C you take the modulo 2 sum which is nothing but 1 0 has to be complemented which means 1 and then C and if you take it it is 0 and 1 has to be complemented which is 0 0 and 0 is 0 therefore uh, remainder when divided with 2 is 0 now 1 when complemented is 0 0 exclusive or 1 is 1 got it so these two turned out to be same right so in fact you can write it like this b exclusive or c whole complement is equal to b complement exclusive or c that equal to b exclusive or c complement remember this it is very important to know this okay so either you complement everything or you complement one of the input and apply it both are going to give the same result right they have got lot of implications later we shall see what they are but for now remember this formula okay so what do you what can you conclude finally we can conclude that this uh, this particular uh, uh, it is associative the operation the operator uh, exclusive or is associative okay